Hi everyone, welcome back to Amanda T and me, and welcome to a new game. Today we are going to start Death and Taxes, and it's pretty much what it sounds like. We're going to play as the Grim Reaper as, um, well, he pushes some paper and makes some choices. So go ahead and get yourself some Nkosi and let's get into it. That's kind of cool. Lemons. Fate, keeper of the world order. Bubble bubble. Oh, we get to pick our. Oh. Some very flashy choices here. Um, let's stick with the classic. Begin the bureaucratic afterlife? Okay. Finally. The new spawn has awoken. What a uh, momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world. Spawn, uh, hang on. Spawn number four, four. I am fate. I am the keeper of world order. Um, I don't care much for being just 44. Can I be fate? Another ironic one. Great. No, you may call yourself the Grim Reaper, as that is what you are. Welcome to your new job as an overseer of Cosmopolis City Subdivision 4, the Sun County Wine Region. Kitty! I know what you are thinking, and yes, your assignment is choosing humans who have to die. Pretty standard stuff. As it is your first day, try to get to know the system, and do not destroy the world, yes? <laughs> Gallows humor, you see? Right, yes. <coughs> Clear? Will I get paid for this? Most certainly. The contract stipulates that every death gets a performance fair salary accuracy. based on their performance accuracy. Marking profiles correctly is the most important task. If you mark more or less than necessary, uh -huh, that's what I thought. You will not get We work on commission, I all. guess. Errors in secondary tasks will reduce the total, even if the primary task is <laughs> executed correctly. Remember, the fate of the world lies in your hands. Humans march towards the great dying. They always teeter on the precipice, creating endless chaos. We keep humans from falling off. We establish the equilibrium and keep the chaos in check. For that reason, your actions will 
have consequences. All right, so where do I work? I will show you your workplace right away. Follow me. One more thing. This will be your seven-day evaluation period. When the week is done, you will be assessed. Oh, I'm sure I will. One week to show us what you are made of, Reaper. That was a, I don't know, that was a fun show. Okay. I wonder if there are other Grimms out there. Cerber Cerber yeah, Cerberus's den feed your soul open on weekends. We also have a kit cat. I have a phone at least. Good for procrastinating and scrolling through Cocker. I guess that's like The Marker of Death. Better pick up and start marking some fire files. Read this. Welcome Grim. Here are the files on humans who are in life-threatening situations within your domain. I am granting you time to settle in, so not too difficult rules and requests as of today. Quota for today, one human has to die. Send me the files by fax after you've made a decision. Good luck on the first day, fate. Okay. Chase Fontaine, 36, legendary guitarist. Ch uh, Chaos absolutely loves shredding guitar solos. The more technical, the better. Their fingers pick and slide over guitar strings so fast, most cameras can't even catch up. They are an idol to any ambitious young guitarist to be. Leland Polyakov, gravedigger, 40. A yellow sun rises, shots have been fired tonight is what Leland says every morning, looking into the distance, prepared for all the crime victims that inevitably get brought in that day. Occasionally, they find bones from the dirt and use them to act out key scenes from Whamlet. Ew. Um. I definitely said Kate. Chase, and yeah. Okay. Um, we're gonna go with die. Yes. I just feel like Leland's gross. The Grim Office. Okay, uh, mouse wheel is easier. What ho, customer! Welcome to Quartermaster Mortimer's Plunder Emporium. As you may guess, I am Mortimer. The Mortimer. The one you may have heard of. The famous, nay, infamous Quartermaster. Um, the Mortimer? An honor to meet such a legend. Aye, tis me, terror of the ways. <laughs> I may have grown most humble with age, but tales of my thunderous exploits will live forever. Uh, cool. I, the Emporium brims with plunder. I plundered myself. Browse at your will. Yeah, we can't really afford anything. Okay, so we can really only go to... The quartermaster. Bates office. Oh, the new death spawn. Welcome. How was your first day? 
Really good. Great. We are counting on your dedication. You do important work, after all. Remember, lives are on the line. I see exactly one person perished today, as tasked. Did you figure out the best choice? I did. To be honest, I gave a simple one to begin with. There was no best choice. Sometimes none of the options are good. Not for everyone. Such is the unfortunate, indisputable, incontrovertible, iron-clad law of cosmos. Question? Nope, I'm ready for anything. Keep your eye on the letter for future guidelines. And keep up the good work. A new day awaits. Off you go now. Yay, we made 300... ...somethings. Deathmolians? Is there anywhere else we can go? I think it's just Cerberus's... Yeah. Yeah, let's just call it a day. Interesting. The Grim Office. <sighs> Alright. Oh, we have a message. Crow's News. Bodies keep piling up after death of city's only gravedigger. It was me, says Secretary of Environment, after questioned about the horrible smell engulfing the city. Team of Ragtag oil drillers sent to outer space to counter imminent asteroid impact. Wasn't me. Mm. Wonder, um, are we seeing the start of a new apocalypse or is it just climate change? Uh, I hope you found your accommodations adequate. Here are the rules of the day. Follow them and you'll be okay. Um, I'm handing you another simple task. Quota for the day one human with engineering or industrial background has to die. Jan Weber, 45, solderer. You want a tiny thing fused to another tiny thing using an alloy of tin and lead? You've come to Jan. Soldering is the cornerstone of building and maintaining any modern technological equipment, and Jan is the best at it. Drill Master, Bruno Billis, 43. Bruno is infam an infamously guff, guff drilling expert who has been working on deep sea oil rigs for countless years. They have a tense relationship with their offspring, yet have been attempting to reconnect and make things work. Cosmologist. Ayasha Moore, 38. Ten, year, uh, ten years, Aisha has spent gazing through a powerful telescope at the stars across the universe. Bit by bit, they've become ever more convinced that the whole world is actually some sort of simulation. A realistic reproduction crafted in binary. Let's look at this again. Engineering or industrial? Um, it's the cornerstone of building and maintaining any... really engineering though. It's got to be one of these two. I'm afraid literally things will fall apart if I choose. And she's probably right about that. Really 
really don't want to spend money on anything yet. Grim, how was the second day on the job? Great! It gladdens me to hear that. So, did you follow the rules properly? I did. Great. Yes, everything looks to be in order. Continue the good work and do not let tough choices get you down. Sounds great. Great indeed. We could use more spawns with your attitude. Rest well. We will need it. See you soon. Kitty cat! Sounds more like a snore than a purr, but okay. Alright, so we're up to 600. Can't really visit anything other than the quartermaster. But I'm not really. Yeah. Okay. Alright. I guess we'll do this again. Alright. Oh, there's five today. Local technician introduces new exciting soldering technique that may change the whole world. Cosmologist publishes an odd article about the whole existence um, being a simulation. Scientific community baffled and amused. Team of astronauts uh, sent out to detonate asteroid um, threat valiantly give lives to complete mission. Astrophysicist Union pays tribute to fallen working class heroes. Instructions. So two for today. A new day dawns. You ought to know the drill by now, but just in case, here's another simple one. No special requests today. Try to follow the rules and choose the appropriate profiles, then send them to me by fax. Two humans have to die. Alright. Leo Bajarski. Bajarski? 67, politician. Leo has been in politics for over 40 years, and in that time, worked hard on relaxing the government meddling in the real estate market. Although nobody has found proper proof, there have been rumors that Leo has taken many bribes. Okay, well... I'm guessing there are more heinous people in the mix. Chad Anderson, 25, unemployed, MeTube philosopher. Chad quit college several years ago and started making MeTube videos in their parents' basement. 80% of the content is about philosophy and 20% critical analysis of why they got dumped yet again. Okay, it seems annoying but harmless. David Long, 20, student. David enrolled at the university to learn computer science, but as of late, their grades have been dropping. Instead of studying, they've become absorbed in a recent hypothesis. The whole world is actually being a very convincing uh, simulation. Again, annoying but harmless. Uh, Columba Hunter, 47, airplane pilot. Columba is a distinguished war veteran these days working as a well-regarded passenger airplane pilot. They're happily married and have five children. As a hobby, Columba is extremely interested in the history of religious buildings. Uh, Saif Hanan, 28, boxer. Saif's been hitting the punching bag a lot lately, living out many frustrations of their life, one of them being lower than expected results in matches as of late. Uh, on the side, they've grown more interested in unusual simulation hypothesis. Um, okay. Um, oh, the irony. I guess we're not cool enough yet. Let's just take a look. Prepare for a perilous adventure on the ocean of quality merchandising. Okay. It spins, whirs, clicks, and clacks. Very soothing and helps in times of stress. Um, peculiar flex twirl disquietingly inside this glass globe, never settling. In the middle of the storm stands figures too difficult to discern. Everything seems to be in a strange state of constant transfiguration. Only a noble craftsman can craft an 
alphanique of this caliber. Exquisite. Tasty. No one can deny I have the sweetest possible visage if I wore this. It's cool, but I'm good. Grim, my latest spawn. Three days you have been with us. How do you feel? Awesome. Balancing the world, getting things done. Excellent. That is what I hoped to hear. As you may imagine, it is important to keep morale up in our line of work. Now, let me take a look at the files you sent in today. Right. Everything looks to be in order. You have followed the rules and marked the correct amount of profiles. There really is not much else to say. You may leave. See you tomorrow. Alright. And I think it's time for sleepies. And I think that's uh, time for us um, to head to the main menu and uh, call it a day. Alrighty, guys. Well, uh, this is interesting. I have a friend uh, who has given me... um. I don't know, a little tidbits about this. Not really spoilers, just like, I think he told me just don't kill everyone. So, and I think we saw with our first choice that things can go wrong in the world. We should be checking our phone. So, alrighty guys, well until next time, take care and happy sipping.